What's up, bitches? Welcome to another exciting episode of 3 AM Baking with me, Matt Webb, and lovely Jenny A. Dots. What are we making today, Jen? Brownies. That's right. And unfortunately, we realised that we only have one egg, and obviously the shops are shut. So we're kind of screwed on that front, but the show must go on. So we're quartering our recipe, but we're going to give you the deets of the full recipe, the correct recipe, we're going to be using a quarter of it. So let's get the recipe up. And Jenny Lutz, if you could, read out the recipe. Oh. Um, 20, 27, no, 275 G of plain chocolate. Plain chocolate. One sec. Two hundred and seventy-five G of un um, unsalted butter. All March in our case. Eighty-five G of pecans, which I'm really not using. Because I don't like pecans. Do you like pecans, Jen? Yeah. Oh, we um, can't afford pecans. Eighty-five G of milk chocolate. Milk chocolate. That's the eighty-five G of milk chocolate. Eighty-five G of white chocolate. And 175g of plain flour. <laughs> and four large eggs. Where's my egg? I can't lost the egg. He's lost the egg. The egg, the one egg. And one teaspoon, one, one teaspoon of vanilla essence. What about the baking powder? Oh, yeah. A um, teaspoon of baking powder also. And 325 G of caster sugar. Alright then. Method Butch. Preheat oven to 170 degrees C, 325 Fahrenheit, gas mark 3, line a 30 by 30 by 3, oh, fuck all that, line a tin <laughs> with lightly buttered greaseproof paper or foil. So let's do that now. You do that and I'll do this. Where's the tin at? We have done that. Beautiful there. And next, that is prepared. So it's all good. We don't want to fold it back too much because we're going to lift it up and out at some point. So whether it will fit in there and actually, but you know. Uh, put the plain chocolate and butter into a large bowl, place over a pan of simmering water. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up that plain chocolate. Alright, we put our butter and our chocolate in a bain marie, which is basically a glass bowl over simmering water, and it's starting to melt. See? <laughs> That's what we want. That's what we're looking for. You. Yeah. That's it. You know it. How do you turn it down? Oh, fuck. Dude. Melt. Yep, multi, multi, multi. After that, we're going to sieve the flour. And we're going to sieve the flour and baking powder into the bowl and set it aside. Into a bowl and set it aside. Add the melted chocolate. Yeah, I get it. Alright, I'm going to sieve that flour and baking soda. Yeah. All right. So in a separate bowl, I've sifted the flour and the baking powder. Now we need to remove the melted chocolate from the heat and stir in the sugar. Add the eggs and vanilla essence. Fold in the flour, nuts, and chocolate. Right. Where's the sugar? Sugar. Sugar. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. 
add the eggs and vanilla essence. Are we going to bother with vanilla essence? Seeing as it's such a small amount, I don't think it'll make much difference. Nice one. I always wanted to learn how to crack eggs with my hands, like a box. Adding our eggs. What else was there? Just the vanilla essence, wasn't it? Eggs and vanilla essence. Fold in the flour, nuts and chocolate. I'm just going to start cutting the chocolate because okay. it needs to be in some chunks. Let's go to the chocolate. Should we give it out? Oh, yes. Yeah, All of the chocolate. Yeah. Even the, even the, even the. White even chocolate, the... yes. <laughs> I'll just start mixing it up. <laughs> right. Do you want to put it back on the bay, Marie? No. Folding the flour and lots of chocolate. Yeah, what's that? Have you sifted it? Yeah, yeah. Where did I put it? Here it is. Flour, this way of flour, nuts, and chocolate. And marijuana if you're so inclined. <laughs> what? It was just a joke. <laughs> Don't look at that. Can I do some mixing, Bubba? No. Come on. Come on. This way you need manpower. Fine, I'll get my own box. Come on, Mark. Bitch. Oh, yeah, you need to take it off the bag, Mary. Oh, shit. Yeah, I was going to say. Right. Take your spoon out for me. Make it aside. Now, as it say. Pour the chocolate mixture into the pre-prepared cake tin and place in the oven and bake for 20 to 25 minutes. The top should be firm, but inside should feel soft when cooked. Allow to cool in the tin. Remove the brownies from the tin and kind of squares, bitch. So we're gonna give you a shout. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna fill the tin up in front of you because that's half the fun. Have a bit of production value. Right, let's get it on. I've been waiting so long. Let's get it on. The sexy chocolate with the chunks in it. <laughs> that's dire. I think that's dire. It's just tiny. It looks awesome. It's going to be great. It looks awesome. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. I mean, they're going to be thin brownies, but they will be brownies nonetheless. And we can always make like a proper one at some point. Yeah. Oh, shit. Right. I'm just going to fan it out a little bit. Alrighty then. Now, for you folks, this is going to take 20 to 25 minutes in the oven. But we haven't used nearly as much as you have, so we're going to keep an eye on it every now and then. And see how it goes. So we'll see you then for the unveiling. All right, we're back. We've taken it out, <laughs> and it does look lovely. Actually, I think it looks nice. I think it looks medium, but it's cool. I think it looks lovely, and it's gonna keep cooking. You've got to leave it in the tin. It looks like old man skin. I bet it tastes lovely though. <laughs> anyway, I don't care, have it out bitches. Because I love old man skin if it tastes like chocolate brownies. <laughs> anyway, it's going to keep cooking in the tin, even though you've taken it out of the oven. So leave it to cool in the tin. And then we'll, we'll be right back with you until it cools down. Okay. Until it's cool.
cool to the touch until you can touch it without going ow shit I burnt my finger so yeah we'll give you a shout when we've done that and we'll cut them up and have some tastage shall we? hmm? We'll see you then. Yeah? Okay, we're back once again. And they are completely cool. And we're gonna sort them out. So we need a plate. Yeah. See, because we buttered it underneath, it's just pulled out perfectly. Although we probably should have buttered the underside as well now, considering it. Actually, wait, 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 I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Let's cut it on the thing with that. Right, don't try and pull it off. Should cut off the monkey. Crusty <laughs> bits first. Actually, it feels quite nice. It feels quite soft when I cut it. When I cut it. <laughs> oh my god, these are tears and sprouts. Oh, Jen, don't put it in the, in the grease. I don't eat them, mate. You might be able to eat it. You might just not. Not in your life. Anyway. Right. These are quite thin, so they're quite hard to cut. You know what they are rising. You what? Where's the edge rising? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you guys will have a lot more luck because you used the full recipe. Whereas we, that's the way we Whereas we used half of the recipe. And so we came out with little micro mini. <laughs> and we have brownies. I'm going to have a try. Mmm. They're chewy. Try, try it. Mmm. Do you not like it? No. I, I think it tastes awesome. Yeah. And there you have it. So. I've been Matt Webb. This has been the lovely Cheney Dots. Have fun baking. <laughs> Bang around your face.